Hello, um, I would like to show you how to solve the system equation using Gaussian elimination and using Excel. So um, as you know, that first uh, we have the equation like this. So we're going to take a coefficient we put in here at the matrix like this here. So the first one I have uh, over here, no coefficient here, that means one right here. So I have one and this negative two, one and negative three. So we can reverse the augmented matrix like this one. The second one, I have no X, so therefore zero, one, two, seven. And then the last one will be one, one, three, 10. So I copy in here, make sure that you copy correctly. Um, so that helped the things easier. Now Gaussian elimination methods that it help us to make like um, um, to uh, you row operation. Um, to um, make over here, I have the upper triangular matrix um, for the first three by three um, matrix right here. So you notice this one, one, that's good. So we're going to leave it alone. And this one has zero right here. Good. So we're going to leave it alone. So Excel, very nice. So we can do right here, we have equal right here. And then I click on the cell. That means it copy whatever on cell A1, it copy over there. So I'm going to copy that formula, I'm going to drag for that whole first row. And also I drag for the second row because I want to keep it the same. Right. Now, this number right here, we want it one, right. So therefore, we're going to give the row operation, we're going to take row three, so I can write right here to, to help me to remind what the operation I'm doing here. So I take, I want to want zero. So therefore one minus one right here would be zero, right? That means I take row three, I minus row one. This one become my new row three, right? So that's my operation. So I'm gonna do that over here. So this one will be equal to, so I take row three, which is right here. And then I minus row one right here. I click on that, right? So you see my formula is right here on top or right here. So when I hit the enter, you see my answer is zero right here, but I, if I click on this, you see this here zero, but on top right here, it show me the formula for my uh, cell F3. So I can copy this formula. I drag for the rest of row three, right? So now it do that part for me. So my matrix now become this new matrix here by using row operation R3 minus R1 make my new uh, row three. Over here, this one look good, right? We almost have the lower, uh, the upper triangular matrix for this part right here. So I got to make this one zero. So how do I make this one zero? So you see a three and here a one, right? So what I do here, I gonna take row three and then I can subtract three row one, uh, row two, I'm sorry. Row two right here, three right here. So three times one, so I have three and three minus three, so I have zero. So that's what I want. So that I make over here, that would be my new row tree, right? So I'm gonna use this operation here. I'm gonna put uh, back over here, right? So I have over here would be equal. Even though this here is zero, we still do it. So make sure I drag everything, right? So I can take over here row tree, right? And then I minus three. Now this one you have to time. Put the extra side time and then click on row two, right? Enter. So zero, zero, of course, but here, when we copy this, we pay for the rest, we'll, it will do all the operation for you. So you don't have to do anything. Now all the rest here the same, so I'm gonna copy it. So it would be equal to this row right here. So I could copy this formula. Uh, so that means I copy all the data from the first two row for that one. So I have this part right here. Yeah. Okay. So. The way we do this, we have no mistake, you know, on when you do as subtract right here, sometimes you do not have punching calculation is wrong. But if you use Excel, very nice. You can put the equation here, you make sure all the number here really quick, and then you click on this one here, you write down your um, operation here that is remind you to do. That's one eliminate a lot of typo and miscalculation, everything like that. So now we have the matrix right here. So we're gonna convert it to equation. So it's this one right here. So we can convert back to me. I have zero X plus zero Y. And then over here, you can go further, but I just stop right there and I do the part right here. So I have negative four Z equal 
negative eight, right? So this one, you're gonna give me z equal two, right? Yes. And then I have z equal two, I'm gonna plug into this equation right here, which is this equation right here, right? So over here, I gonna rewrite that one again. So I have y and plus two and z, but z I can out here too. So I'm gonna have here time two. This one equals seven. So from here, I can see that y would be equal to seven minus four, right? So that means y equal three, right? And then I'm gonna plug y and z into the first equation, which is the same thing with the first number right here, right? So that we're gonna do over here would be x minus two times y is three, right? And then plus two, which is z, right? Plus two. This one have to be equal negative three, huh? Right. So from here, you can write a little bit further more, but you know, go ahead and go try for it. So I, I'm gonna write here for those of you here. Now x minus six, and then plus two, and then equal negative three. So this one, this side give me negative four, huh? Right. So you bring over here, that means x equal one. So I put in here, I should have the correct answer right here. You see that one, two, three right here? 